cooking, cooking, cooking with Becky. Hey there, good morning. So are you craving brats but don't want to be at the grill the whole time? I've got the perfect recipe. We're going to do brats in the crock pot. Super delicious. Got all sorts of great things that go with brats. Apples, brown sugar, bacon, and sauerkraut. So let's get to it. All right, the first thing I'm doing is either on your outdoor grill or in your indoor grill pan or just even in a skillet, I've got about, you know, 8 to 16 brats, depending on how many people you're serving. And I just want to get a little bit of color on them. Don't need to cook them all the way through. Just want to get a little bit of brown. So you can do this in just minutes. Get that out of the way. That way they'll look really, really tasty. Again, in your skillet, your outdoor grill, or right on your stove top on your grill pan, that'll get those nice grill marks. So your brats then go into your slow cooker, and now we start having fun with them. We're going to add some beer because we all know brats and beer go really great together. So one can of beer. This makes a great game day recipe. Say you're going to the game and you don't want to be, you know, hanging out at the grill the whole time. Get this all done today, this morning, and then haul the crock pot to the game and you can be enjoying the party. So one can of beer. We also have um, some apple juice, one cup of apple juice. So that's your cooking liquid. Whenever you're cooking in a slow cooker, you need some sort of a great liquid to, you know, slow cook in. We also have some brown sugar, a few tablespoons just to sweeten it up a little bit. Some cooked, lightly cooked, doesn't have to be real crisp, bacon, a few slices of bacon. Love that in there. It'll really give the kraut, which we're throwing in now, some great flavor, that brown sugar and the bacon. And we actually have two cans or two jars, 14 ounce jars of sauerkraut that we've drained real well. You can even rinse it if you've got the time. Just dump it right in there. The two cans, 14 ounce or two jars. Next we've got some onion, about a quarter cup of just yellow onion. You can dice it up real fine if you're not a big fan or just leave it chunky however you like it. Got to have some onion and some sauerkraut on my brat. And then one more last thing to just really sweeten it up and give this a great flavor. We've got some sliced apple, about two apples that we've just sliced. Don't need to peel them. Just leave the peel right on there. I'm using Granny Smith, but you can use whatever you have. Now at this point, put the lid on and you're going to cook it on high for two to three hours or on low for four to five hours. And come with me, see how it all comes out. Your house is going to smell amazing. So if you're entertaining people at home and, you know, you want to serve brats, this is great because you'll have that whole thing done. They'll be grilled up and ready to go. Went to the bakery and got some really yummy um, brat buns. Got a few different flavors. This happens to be a rye bun with sesame seeds. So I thought that would go great with the brats. Just picked it up right at the bakery at Festival Foods. And you can see all the goodness in this crock pot. Got the fixins right here, the sauerkraut, the apples, and the onion. So let's get one of these gorgeous brats. Got to serve some mustard. And I'm, I like ketchup on my brats. I know. I, I know. Some people say that's crazy. But All right, is there anybody else out there besides me who likes a little ketchup? Oh, good. Ann does, too. My husband, Bob, does, too. So anyway, fix them up however you like. Put a little onion. You can even put a little apple on this brat. Or kind of a great combination. Serve it with your favorite side fixins potato salad, German potato salad would be great, chips, fruit salad, and there you go. Crock pot brats, a new and super easy way to serve a crowd, all you brat lovers out there. Recipes on our website. You can also pick this recipe up at any festival foods. Stay with us. We'll be right back.